Hi Violists! So today we're going to be working on essential element number 51. It's called the mirror image. This one's a little bit similar to the last one we did, which you're still using the A string and D string. But in this one, you're going to be playing in all four measures. And you only get one quarter rest in each measure to get prepared for the next measure. So this is what it'll eventually look like. Um, four, three, two, one. Now let's break it down a little bit to see what it's consisted of. Now let's start from down bow first. So place your bow at the frog on A string. And then as you play towards the tip, one thing you have to remind yourself is that your bow wants to stay parallel to the bridge. So when we get to the tip, which is the hardest part, one thing you have to see is that it's your elbow in the front of your body. If it's in the back of your body, let's see, this is how my bow looks like at the tip, which is not parallel to the bridge. So you want it to be parallel to the bridge, you have to push your arm out. You have to make sure that your elbow stays in the front of your body when you get to the tip. Now let's play slowly and I'll show this slide. My elbow never goes to the back of my body. That's how yours should look like as well. So when you play up bow, move your forearm back first. And then move your, what's this called? Upper arm. So you move, you separate it into two parts. Forearm first back to this position and then you use your upper arm move it back so if you play more smoothly more connected it'll look like make sure that your elbow is never in the back of your body always in the front so imagine that you're pushing your bow out now let's try on the D string, just play the D and it's the same concept, your elbow should never go towards the back of your body. So you get to here and think push out, push out, push out. Don't be afraid that your bow is going to end up like being, you know, this way. It'll never happen. Just Make sure that after you pass the middle of your bowl, imagine that you're pushing out the bowl. Another thing about this exercise is the string crossing. So we're still um, crossing between A string and D string. So as I said last time, place your bowl at the frog and try to, try to feel the string crossing with your elbow. Lead with your elbow and try to feel the distance, the angle between two strings. You don't necessarily have to play right now. Just put, place it on the string and then find the right angle for the both string. Try it at the frog. Try it in the middle of the bowl. And try it at the tip. Try to find the angle where both strings work. So from the first measure to the second measure, this is what it'll look like. Four, three, two, one. Rest cross. You use the quarter rest at the tip to cross over to the D string. So find the angle at the tip from A string to D string because we're not doing a retake here we're not starting the second measure with a down bow we're starting it with the up bow so you stay here and then you find the right angle for the string crossing and then you start um, the second measure on the D string with an up bow one more time rest cross 
Now second to the third measure, it's basically the same concept. So you're starting up bow on the D string and after you play three times, three notes, you're back at the frog. So you're going to find the string crossing angle at the frog from D string to A string. From D string to A string. From D string to A string. D string to A string. You're leading with your elbow. A little bit with your finger if you can, but for now you can try to lead it with your elbow at the frog. And when you go from D string to A string, set your down bow position on A string again and then you can play. And then it's again the string crossing at the tip. Now I'm going to set the metronome to quarter note equals to 50. Um, this is a slower tempo, but let's make sure that we can do everything we said within this tempo. So quarter note equals to 50 and you're playing four beats in one measure. So I'll show the side angle first. Place it on A string, four, three, two, one. time and try to play along with me. I'll show more of a front angle. Front angle. Now try to play along with me. Still quarter note equals to 50. Four, three, two, one. Now I'll summarize it into a few points so it's easier to remind yourself when you practice on your own. Um, first, your elbow has to always stay in the front of your body. Okay, you can play, you can make up a game by yourself. So you can play down bow and let yourself self stop at any time and check if your elbow is in the front. You can also ask your siblings to play this game with you as you play down bow, up bow, down bow, up bow. Make them stop you anytime when you're playing and just check where you're at, where your elbow is, your wrist, your shoulder, everything, if it's in position when you stop yourself. Okay, so even if I stop here, make sure that my elbow is still in the front. My bow is parallel to the bridge like this. So check every point by yourself. Second is the string crossing. One is at the t at the at the frock here. So lead with your elbow and find an angle here. And another where another point is at the tip. So find an angle with your with your elbow. Don't move your shoulder at all. Just find an angle with your elbow. Find the angle where you can play long bow without touching any other strings. That'll be it for this video. Have fun practicing.